Welcome back to VL Extras. For decades, we've been tethered to rectangular screens, phones, tablets, and laptops. But the winds of innovation are blowing, and they're pushing us toward a future where those screens dissolve into thin air, merging the digital and physical like never before. And now, two giants, Google and Samsung, are teaming up to make this dream a reality with Android XR. This isn't just another VR experiment. This is the dawn of a whole new era for extended reality. Let's take a step back. Extended reality, or XR, is an umbrella term for technologies that merge the physical and virtual worlds, including AR, augmented reality, VR, virtual reality, and MR, mixed reality. While companies like Meta and Apple have made waves with their devices, Think MetaQuest, Envision Pro, Google, and Samsung are combining their strengths to create a true metaverse ecosystem. Here's the scoop. Google, Samsung, and Qualcomm have joined forces to unveil Android XR Google's extended reality operating system. Think of it as Android's bold leap into the metaverse, a bridge between our everyday world and the limitless possibilities of augmented and virtual reality. Launching in 2025, this isn't just a software platform. It's a revolution. A seamless ecosystem that transforms the way we work, play, and explore. Powered by Google's Gemini AI and cutting-edge hardware from Samsung. Why would you say now is the right moment to launch XR? Yeah, so for pretty much the history of computing, we've been using the rectangular box of a screen display. Whether it's monitors, laptops, tablets, or phones, XR has the power to extend beyond those boundaries. I think now is the perfect time to work on XR because you have a convergence of all these technologies and Gemini is key to powering Android XR. The underlying technology allows us to process inputs from all different kinds of signals, much like you process the real world. The magical thing about XR is that it's moving computing to a place that's truly as natural as you can imagine it. Android XR is our new platform for headsets and glasses. It offers some of the best tools for developers to use, and it reduces a lot of the friction. We've been in this space since Google Glass, and we have not stopped. Things like AR Core, the Geospatial API, Lens, Live View, Translate, and now Gemini. We can take those experiences, which already work great, and find new ways to be helpful for people. When we talk about headsets and glasses, we think about headsets as episodic products that you put on for a specific reason. When you're watching the game, Gemini could break down everything about Freddy's Grand Slam. This is the most visceral incarnation of any 3D space or spatial environment you, can, you could think of. I can't wait to spatialize old videos. It'll feel like you're right in your memories again. And then we think about glasses as all-day products that you use to get value throughout your day. Our technology really enables us to shrink down the displays that go into the glasses. We'll see more of these highly portable devices that will more and more look like the ones I'm, I'm, I'm wearing right now. With glasses, you'll feel like you're a local, no matter where you are. There's no way we could build this platform other than collaborating very closely. We've been working with Samsung for a number of years, and so we look for opportunities where we could really marry each other's strength in creating something new. From software and UX to hardware, cross-functional partners across both companies have worked seamlessly around the clock as one team to build a powerful XR platform. We've learned that we can build the best platforms with an ecosystem of developers, designers, and device makers. A lot of deep collaboration happens for us to bring the best solution to the ecosystem, to the platform, and to the users. Alone, you can go fast, but together you can go far. And the only way we'll get there is if we build this together. Let's rewind for a moment. Remember Google's Daydream View? Samsung's Gear VR? Great ideas too early for their time. But now with AI breaking boundaries, high performance chips like Qualcomm's XR platform, and the success of devices like Apple's Vision Pro, the stage is set. As Google's VP of AR and XR, Sharam Azadi put it, the technology is finally at an inflection point. And wow, what an inflection point this is. At its core, Android XR is a next generation operating system, blending Google's expertise in software and AI with Samsung's cutting edge hardware. Think of it as the Android you know and love but designed for 3D environments. Imagine this, 
You're wearing Samsung's futuristic XR headset codenamed Project Muhan. And you ask Google's Gemini AI, what's that mountain in front of me? Within seconds, Gemini overlays your view with rich details. Its name, height, and even live weather conditions. Now let's talk about hardware. Samsung's Project Muhan is the crown jewel of this partnership, a sleek, lightweight XR headset that sets new standards in design and performance. With six degrees of freedom, advanced eye tracking, and hand gesture support, it delivers an experience that rivals Apple's Vision Pro at a fraction of the cost. But Samsung isn't stopping at the basics. This headset includes pancake lenses for better clarity, prescription lens inserts for accessibility, and a modular design for long-term comfort. It's designed for everyone from casual users to professionals. And the price point? Samsung hints at something far more affordable than its competitors, aiming to make XR technology accessible to the masses. Let's not forget the lifeblood of any new platform. Developers. Google is making sure Android XR becomes a developer's paradise. Existing apps on Android will work seamlessly in XR environments. Android XR integrates seamlessly with Android Studio, AR Core, Unity, and OpenXR. Existing Android apps? Instantly compatible. Got a tablet app? It'll scale beautifully in XR. And if you're ready to dive deeper, Google's XR Bootcamp offers hands-on access to this groundbreaking hardware. Thanks to AR Core, OpenXR, and integrations with tools like Unity and Android Studio. And for those who want to go beyond 2D apps, Google is launching an XR Bootcamp to help developers create immersive 3D experiences. Google has announced Android XR. Samsung has a mixed reality headset for Google. And there are glasses in the works too. This is a lot to digest and I just got out of the demo of this stuff. Let me talk to you about it. Google's been promising a collaboration with Samsung and Qualcomm for a year now, talking about this future of mixed reality. And we already have Apple in the landscape. We already have Meta in the landscape. And we also have other fringe players as well. Now, Google is back in the landscape. They had been out of VR and AR for the most part, and they're back in. Android XR is a new platform, and it's going to work with phones, and it's going to work with other things, and it's Gemini powered in that Gemini AI is going to run throughout it to work not only on mixed reality headsets, but Google says it'll be on AI glasses, AR glasses, and all sorts of other emerging wearables for your face. Now, what I got to try, because right now it's only for developers, is a headset made by Samsung that's a mixed reality headset and also a pair of notification glasses that Google calls Project Astra. These have been in the works for a little while and they're gonna start being field tested soon. Now bear with me because I'm gonna be talking a lot and we don't have any photos or video of my demo because they were not allowed. That's pretty standard issue for early VR and AR in my experience. So first of all, Project Muhan, which is the name of the mixed reality headset for now that Samsung is going to release next year, looks a lot like a Vision Pro or it looks like uh, the MetaQuest Pro, if you remember that headset. It's a visor type headset that fits on your head. It's got lenses over here, you can block out light if you want, tightens in the back, and has a nice crisp display. It has hand tracking and eye tracking. That's not what the exciting part is. A lot of that feels very familiar. But when I tried demos in this headset, bringing up 2D apps in a very Android-like interface, I was able to bring up familiar Google apps and navigate using my hands and bring up different panes. But I could also turn on Gemini to be my companion throughout the whole journey. Now, you already have things like Siri working on Apple Vision Pro, and there are some voice AI things in a... Imagine building an app that lets users virtually shop in a mall or explore an interactive museum from their living room. The possibilities are endless, and Google is providing the tools to make them happen. Apple may have Vision Pro and Meta may lead the VR scene, but Google and Samsung are rewriting the playbook. They're not just building a headset. They're building a world, a world where the lines between reality and imagination blur into something extraordinary. VL Extras is here to tell you, the future isn't coming. It's already here, and Google, Samsung, and Qualcomm are handing us the keys to unlock it. So what do you think? Is Android XR the next big thing? Will Samsung's Project Muhan steal the show? Tell us in the comments and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more incredible stories like this on VL Extras. See you in the metaverse.